Welcome to KetoMealsAndRecipes.com. My family and I enjoy having delicious blueberry pancakes for breakfast from time to time. So today I've decided to show you my method of making these tasty and fluffy keto blueberry coconut flour pancakes. Which by the way taste really good and in my opinion I find them to be better and of course much healthier than traditional wheat based pancakes that are also full of sugar. I have a favor to ask. If you like my recipes and want to show your support, please watch the entire video all the way through to the end because the YouTube algorithm is geared towards watch time and that affects when I'm recommended. I also want to mention that throughout this video and all of my videos in fact, I explained why I'm doing what I'm doing and other tips that I think would be helpful to you if you took the 5 to 10 minutes that it takes to watch a video. And in this video I'm also going to talk about the difference between using fresh or frozen blueberries, but you have to watch the video. Now the macronutrient ratio for these keto blueberry coconut flour pancakes is 1.8 to 1 with 8.2 grams of total carbs, 1.5 grams of soluble dietary fiber, 4.3 grams of insoluble dietary fiber resulting in 2.5 grams of net carbs per pancake. On this table I have assembled all of the ingredients I'll be using to make the pancakes. To get started, place a sieve over a large mixing bowl and then add all the dry ingredients into the sieve. Here I'm starting with the coconut flour, the powdered sweetener, and in this little bowl is my finely ground salt, the pink stuff, and gluten-free baking powder. And as always, as a binding agent, I like to use glucomannan powder. When you've added everything to your sieve, just stir to pass all the dry ingredients through the sieve. This also aerates the ingredients. Now, in a separate bowl, add your whole eggs. After you've cracked all your eggs and they're in the bowl, add your melted butter and the vanilla. Then whisk for a minute or two until everything is well combined and a homogeneous liquid has formed. Now it's time to combine the wet ingredients in this bowl with the dry ingredients and stir well to form your batter base. You will notice that the batter at this point is quite thick. To loosen the batter I'm going to pour about half a cup of water into the bowl, stir it really well, check my texture and add the other half of the water as needed. What you're looking for in the dough texture for this recipe is you want the dough to be dense and fluffy, not runny. If however your coconut is very dry and your dough is still too thick, all you have to do is add a little bit more water by pouring in one to two tablespoons at a time and repeating until you get a nice consistency, like this. Now let's prepare the pan. The easiest way to make pancakes is to use a non-stick skillet or crepe pan which you put on your stove top element set to medium low heat. Then just leave it alone and let the pan get warm. And you don't need any butter because the best results will come from using a dry pan method. To get the same quantity per pancake, I'm going to use my quarter cup measure. That's because that gives me the best size for the pancake. Scoop out one quarter cup of the batter from your measuring cup and when you've placed it on the pan surface, just gently spread the batter starting from the center and, and pushing outward. And what you want is to make the pancakes approximately one half inch or 1.3 centimeters thick. Then place the blueberries evenly over the entire surface of the batter. And as you're placing the blueberries, gently press down on each one of them. This will set them in a little bit deeper and more firmly. I want to let you know that the first two pancakes I made I used fresh blueberries and for the rest of the pancakes I ended up using my frozen blueberries which I rinsed and patted dry. Now that I've added my blueberries to my batter I'm going to cover the pan with a lid so that the pancakes will cook more evenly all the way through. And this is a good thing otherwise you have to cook it a bit longer and the bottom will be much darker brown or even scorched. By using a lid you're utilizing the heat for the pancake to cook more quickly. You just have to keep frying until the bottom is lightly golden. If you can, get yourself a wide spatula. 
This wide spatula really helps when you're flipping pancakes or crepes. Using a wide spatula is very useful because it goes completely under the pancake so when you flip it you don't get a splatter. Now here's the pancake I made with the fresh blueberries. As you can see the blueberries burst when the pancakes were flipped over and that side was cooked. They still taste good but I wanted something a little bit better. And if you're wondering how long to cook on each side, first of all it depends on your stovetop heat setting but it was approximately two minutes per side. So let's do another pancake. Again, I'm scooping out the batter, placing it in the center of my crepe pan, and I'm spreading out the batter to make my pancake a little bit bigger and thinner. To anticipate a question, can I thin out the batter? And I would highly recommend you do not, because by keeping it thicker and fluffier, you get a very soft and moist pancake because when you try to thin it out with more liquid what happens is because it's thinner it's also drier and it's not soft and fluffy like a pancake should be. After spreading out my batter I again put on my blueberries. This time I'm using the frozen blueberries. I place the lid over my pancake which will keep in the heat and after a couple minutes I flip it. And here's what it looks like when I use the frozen blueberries. As you can see, hardly any of the blueberries burst. Therefore, I would strongly recommend, if you can, use frozen blueberries. And if you can find them, wild frozen blueberries. Because the wild blueberries are tastier and they also have a lot less sugar or fructose in them. And then just repeat the process until you've made all of your pancakes. When each of my pancakes was done, I scooped it out of the pan and transferred it to a plate. And here's my completed batch. When you're serving your pancakes, you, you can of course add anything you want on top, such as uh, foam maple syrup, butter, homemade jam, or powdered sweetener. But I have found that with this particular recipe, because it uses coconut flour, which is naturally quite a bit sweeter than almond flour or other nut flours, you don't really need much of a topping. All I added is a dollop of butter which added more healthy fats and the taste of the butter complemented the pancakes and the blueberry flavors beautifully. But this is your breakfast so always make sure you enjoy it and serve it with whatever garnish or topping you enjoy. Today I was only making breakfast for my husband and for myself so I had several pancakes left over. And what do you do with them? Well, the good news is these pancakes really freeze beautifully. So the extra pancakes are perfect for my prep ahead breakfast on some future day. All you have to do to freeze these pancakes is do is get a freezer safe container and place the room temperature pancakes into the container and use a piece of parchment to separate each of the pancakes. That will make it much easier to separate the pancakes when you want to serve them next time. And while I'm at it, I have to remind you to always label and date your container. Lastly, to reheat these frozen pancakes, it's like any frozen waffle or pancake you would buy in a grocery store. You put them on a cookie sheet, place it in your preheated oven, which is at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or approximately 177 Celsius. And then leave them in there for a few minutes until they're nice and hot and thawed all the way through. <laughs> and now I'm going to take a moment and enjoy my breakfast. I hope you have found this video useful and if you have please give it a like, leave a comment and share this channel with a friend. The link for the written printable recipe and anything else of importance are in the description below so go check out the links down there. Until next time have a wonderful day. Cheers!